straight to the shed. Monkey's up here, she's gonna give me a hand with something. So, let's see what we're gonna do. Okay guys, so back in there, we have a generator. We might be having a storm coming up around the first of the week, so I wanna get the generator out, make sure it's gonna run and everything. I don't know how long the gas has been in there, but we've had it out here for what, a year? So, I mean, I know it's been in there at least a year, and it was full, it was. You cranked it up last It was year. in there, the gas was in there when we brought it out here, I don't know how long. Yeah, I had it started last year, but that was last year. Yeah. When something sets a year, you know, like, I don't know how many times I went and pulled a car out of the woods, and people say, well, we drove it in here 20 years ago, you know. So, I mean, that doesn't mean anything. Now, when this shed was built, I specifically said that I wanted to, that generator back there, up here by the door, or in case we need it because we do live in hurricane territory and it's hurricane season right now but as you can see for some reason that didn't happen so monkey has volunteered to help me i was going to do this tomorrow but she volunteered to help me so i don't have to do this by myself tomorrow and get winded out of breath winded so <laughs> let's get you in the stand we'll do a montage a montage yeah you know what a montage is? Yeah, I'm money. What's a montage? I do the work, you watch. No. Oh. Watch the video and you'll see. Yeah, okay. Okay guys, we got it around front. Let me see, let's give it some choke. Got the choke on. Now let's see if the battery held up and let's see if it'll start. Let's see if it'll start again. you guys can see this is a dual fuel it'll run on gasoline or natural gas well propane it'll run on propane it's uh 7500 surge watts but 6000 running watts so it does have a pull rope too 13 horsepower all right let's look inside of here <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I forgot it's got a screen in it. I see some some dirt right about the top of your screen area. Looks like there's yeah. See that bubble? Looks like a leaf right about there. That brown thing, that brown spot. That's water. So tomorrow, what we'll do is we'll drain the t gas out of here. It's probably why it's hard. It's starting hard because last time I started it, it fired first crank. Um, but and we'll put the battery on the charger while we're doing that. Then um, come on, and then we'll see if it'll start any easier. I've never tried to crank it by hand, but let's give it a try and see if it'll start by hand. Okay. okay guys so there's an old start on that I can't do a cold start because we're in Florida and it's July so <laughs> but it is an old start that's cranking first crank when I pull it that's probably because that battery is low and I'm pretty sure that's the original battery I'll show you how small that thing is <laughs> it's a never start or should i say ever start whatever so it might not be the original battery i don't know but uh we may have to get a battery for it sooner or later but as long as i know i can crank it and it starts first crank i'm good with that for right now so that's going to do it for this video tomorrow like i said we'll put that battery on the charger we'll put it on a slow charge uh, i also have a battery tender in there I may hook up to that, but it's going to stay in the garage all summer because, um, like I said, we're coming into hurricane season. We got that Elsa storm that may or may not be coming up to us. We just got to see around the first of the week. But anyway, just in case, you never know. Uh, power goes out for any reason, which it doesn't usually, but it does flicker sometimes when we have a bad storm. But it's only went out, out, out. Um, twice one time was a power there was a power grid down for an hour or so uh, something to do with a substation and during hurricane whatever that last bad hurricane we had a couple years ago um, that one uh, we was without power for a week I think so we got a pretty good power company but just in case, you never know, if somebody hits a pole, it could take them hours to get it put up. Um, we'll just, you know, I'll just have it in, in the uh, garage that way. It'll be at the ready. And then all I got to do is wheel it out the door, close the door, and it can sit out here and run if it need be. Um, but we don't, we got by with it uh, through the hurricane. With We got by without it in that bad hurricane um sorry about that but we didn't have a generator at all uh, i had battery power and inverters no problem but it will be nice to have if we need it so you never know um i know they used to run their whole house with it uh when the power went out during that hurricane i'm talking about what the hell is the name of that hurricane <laughs> anyway that hurricane that bad one a couple years ago um her mom and dad used it and they pretty much ran their whole house i mean they was using lights and they was using the refrigerator um i don't know where the pigtail is for it or it would probably definitely run this house as long as we didn't have too much stuff on so i mean it didn't run their central air or nothing like that but it, you know 
it just ran you just go into any room flip a switch and it came on so but i'm gonna make some room in the garage for this thing i'm gonna get it in the garage and tomorrow i was going to take the day off that's why i wanted to do this tonight but since i'm going to drain the fuel out of here uh i happen to have a whole can of fuel if you saw my last video uh, working on a husqvarna push mower uh that tank is full because she filled that up and we had it just in case when when the pipeline went down or whatever <clears throat> Uh, it was starting to get hard to get fuel around here. So that's still almost full. It's almost six gallons That'll hold 6.5 which is six and a half gallons. I don't know what the liters is guys. Sorry, but So that'll put pr pretty much put it on full back on full again. So Anyway, stay tuned for that video. Thanks for joining me guys. I appreciate it And thanks monkey for helping me get this thing out of the shed back there um, there's Where the doors close there's that rail in there and what's what's happening that floor is wet in there and <clears throat> what's happening is the uh, the track for the doors I drilled a couple holes down in there so it could drain out but it gets filled up with sand and then it just goes right into the right into the damn shed so I'm gonna have to redesign that somehow or something but anyway that's another video so stay tuned for tomorrow and um, We'll see you then. So thanks for joining me again. Thanks for helping me out on this, guys. Appreciate it. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye, guys. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. Take care.